Hey pups and peeps, Angie Woods, Josh Woods, Dog Hello. Psychology 101. So today we're not really talking about a whole lot behavioral, but what we are talking about is a booty. All right, a lot, of, a lot of clients come in and ask us about expressing or emptying the anal glands of a dog. And some people want to know how to do this business and other people don't want to know how to do it. But this video is for those of you who do. If you're new to our channel, please be sure to drop us a like and hit the subscribe button below. You'll be the first in line to receive our new videos. So we're going to show you the external method. There's two different ways of expressing anal glands. One's from the inside, which I think should be done more by a professional, maybe your veterinarian or groomer. Um, but there's a way to do it from the outside, which is not invasive. You don't have to go inside the booty and uh, it's actually not that hard. So let's give it a shot. In my opinion, the most important thing about this is obviously the dog's health, but gloves. You will appreciate the gloves. You don't want to get this on you. It's terrible. Doesn't, can't wash it off. You want paper towels, lots of paper towels. Some dogs are a lot worse than brick. Also, don't do this on your favorite rug, your favorite room, your carpet, you know, spread. This, I cannot express enough how expressing anal glands is a nasty job. It's kind of like skunking. If your dog is scooching his booty on your floor or your rugs, this is probably the culprit. Anal glands are exactly like they sound. There are one gland on each side, on the left and the right. If we put our gloved fingers here and we put a little pressure back behind the anus, notice how I'm pushing back a little bit? We can feel two little grapes back here. These guys are full of fluid. Nasty, <laughs> nasty fluid. <laughs> However, sometimes the fluid, if the anal glands become impacted and they're not emptying like they normally should, then they become impacted, which means they're more like a cottage cheese consistency. And unfortunately, if that happens, if you're not successful or find that your dog is painful during this process, you may need to go see your veterinarian so that they can do an internal um, reduction of the anal glands. All right, so number one, make sure you lift the tail. By lifting the tail, not too hard, we don't wanna hurt your dog. Um, by lifting the tail, this actually, watch the rectum, it pooches the rectum out. So then we can take a clean paper towel, hold on, not too tight. We're gonna push in beside the rectum to get behind those glands, and then we're going to milk it toward us. Oh yeah, I heard some juicy, juicy stuff. So. This is appropriate. You see this is thin and liquidy and the paper towel absorbs it. Nothing dark or cottage cheese like. So this is perfect. All right, so anal glands empty. Next step is just gonna be to wash up. I find the best thing here is a nice little baby wipe. Once you have smelled anal glands, you'll never forget them. They leave a lasting mark on your nose. Now this can be a little irritating for them. So after you do this, you may find that they lay down and lick for a little while. They might actually scoot back on the carpet a little bit. Um, but typically after an hour or two, they settle down, it feels much better, and you'll have a happy pup and a cleaner rug. All right, so um, very important is, is we should express the anal glands at least once to two times per month. We don't want to overdo it. They do need to learn, their body needs to learn how to express the anal glands uh, on its own. You know, they, they can get into their own rhythm, they just need a little help. Um, big advice also, I will, I will stress again in case you did not pick up on gloves. Paper towels are your friend. You don't. You do not want to get this juice on anything that you care about. It, it's a wrap after that. Um, but all. But in all seriousness, we need to, to keep up on our dogs. If you see them scooting their their booty around on the carpet or, or licking licking the backside frequently, we need to we need to check their anal glands. And there's there's no reason that, that we can't do this on our own. Well, thank you for tuning in to Dog Psychology 101. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. We love to hear your feedback. Thanks.